look, we have a chart. And the problem asks us to find the trapezoidal sum estimate for my integral from 2 to 10 of f of x dx, where f is the decreasing function represented by this chart. And then part two says if f has no inflection points, which basically means that it's either going to be solely concave up or solely concave down, and we know it's just solely decreasing, is the trapezoid sum an overestimate or an underestimate or neither? And you need to give me a reason, a good reason, why. So uh, when I do this problem, I have to think about what the trapezoid sum is. And uh, the trapezoid sum for n intervals, as defined in our class, is the left-hand sum of n intervals plus the right-hand sum of n, n intervals divided by 2. Now, what is n in our problem, the number of intervals? So 1 interval, 2 interval, 3 interval, 4 intervals. So n is 4. Delta x is, well, how long are each of those intervals? Two units. n is 4, delta x equals 2. So then my left-hand sum of four intervals, I have to think of each of these intervals here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and use the left end point. So 15, 10 here, 6 here, and 3 here. And then you always have to multiply by delta x. Don't forget about that. It's kind of like the area of a, a rectangle. Height times width. Height times width. Height times width. Height times width, etc. Now the right hand is exactly the same, except I use the right hand of every interval. So this interval, it's 10. This one is 6. This one is 3. And this one is 2. And I have to use the delta x because I'm doing an area of rectangles. Now on the gateway that my students take, they do this all, all the mathematics by hand. And when I do it, I end up with the number 68. This number in here is 34, and that's 2. This number here is 21 times 2, which is 42. So then if I'm going to do the trap, sub 4, that's going to be left sub 4 plus right sub 4 divided by 2. Just average them, that's all that is. And that's equal to 68 plus 42 divided by 2, which equals in the end 55. And now always conclude. Don't just circle that answer. Conclude, therefore, the integral from 2 to 10 of f of x dx is approximately equal to 55 because that's what it says. Find the trapezoidal sum to estimate this. So I'm going to estimate it with a trapezoidal sum. Now the last part, f has no inflection points. And we need to determine if the trapezoid sum is an overestimate or underestimate. Now, most students go ahead and graph this, but graphing isn't an appropriate way to prove something here. What you want to think about here is the change in y's all the way across. So the change in y here is 5, and then it's 4, 3, then 1. So my function is decreasing, but my rate is actually increasing. Ugh, that's terrible. This, the difference between these two numbers is 5, but if we do it the way that we normally do, we do y2 minus y1. So that actually makes that negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 1. So if I put these numbers on a number line, say, so here's a number line. 0 is right here. And if I mark these all off, it, you can see that on a number line, my rates are actually increasing because they're negative. So my graph is decreasing at an increasing rate. So if I want to answer this question here, I would say, well, if I'm going to write this right, my data is decreasing at an increasing rate. Therefore, the graph 
Well, I'll just say, therefore, it is concave up. And it will actually, if I draw a teeny graph of it, it'll look like this. And if I do a trapezoid sum over a gigantic interval here, and thus, the trapezoidal sum, let me make sure I use the right words. This was written in the problem. See, the trapezoidal sum will be an overestimate. And there you have it.